22 years of marriage, and it feels like a lifetime. Melissa and I tied the knot in that small church in our hometown, surrounded by promises and dreams. The early years were a blissful whirlwind of tenderness, passion, and shared dreams. We couldn't get enough of each other, indulging in lovemaking at night, and strolling hand in hand through the picturesque streets of our town during the day. Then came Emily, our beautiful daughter, and our focus shifted entirely to raising her. Time slipped away, and the fervor that once defined our relationship started fading into a familiar routine of family life. I took up a job as a long-haul truck driver, hoping that the periodic separations would reignite the spark when I returned. And for a while it did. Those homecomings were like mini honeymoons, a break from the monotony of everyday life. Melissa, in the meantime, opened her own beauty salon, a cozy place that gained popularity among the locals. Our daughter, Emily, grew up and left for a prestigious degree in interior design at a university in a neighboring state. We were proud of her determination and diligence. But during my last visit home, something fell off. Melissa seemed irritated and tense in my presence. Little things that never bothered her before, like how I drank my coffee or my habit of watching the evening news, became sources of annoyance. Even my snoring at night seemed to grate on her nerves. As I prepared to embark on another long-haul journey, I sensed a certain relief in Melissa's goodbye. It was as if she looked forward to the solitude that awaited her in our cozy house on the outskirts. Within those three weeks, she would have the space to live solely for her own pleasure. And so, I hit the road, waving goodbye to my wife, unaware of the growing distance between us. Melissa, on the other hand, found solace in the joy of living alone, relishing the freedom that came with it. Little did I know that our paths were diverging, and the once shared dreams were transforming into separate realities. As I cruised through the middle of my long-haul trip, the anticipation of returning home lingered in my mind. I missed Melissa, and the idea of reuniting with her warmed my heart. However, little did I know that things were taking an unexpected turn back home. Melissa, feeling a mix of boredom and longing, decided to take a walk around our town square on a warm April day. The weather had other plans, though, as a freezing wind forced her into a cozy cafe to escape the chill. There, she found comfort in a fragrant cappuccino, served by none other than Aaron, the son of her old friend. I was oblivious to the unfolding events as Melissa and Aaron engaged in conversation, reminiscing about the past. Aaron's charm and professionalism caught Melissa's attention, and soon she couldn't help but admire his broad shoulders, confident movements, and charming smile. Unbeknownst to me, Melissa found herself captivated by the attention he showered upon her. One day, as I happened to catch a glimpse of Melissa browsing Aaron's Instagram, I couldn't help but wonder what was going on. My inquiry led to tension and arguments, as Melissa refused to reveal the content of her online activities. Suspicion and jealousy seeped into our relationship, creating an unsettling atmosphere. Even as I prepared for my last trip, the farewell was devoid of the usual warmth. Unbeknownst to me, a few days after my departure, Aaron reached out to Melissa on Facebook, confessing that he couldn't stop thinking about her. Fate seemed to play its cards, and Melissa, feeling a connection, suggested meeting at a cozy Italian restaurant on the waterfront. Their rendezvous led to more intimate encounters. With me on the road for three more weeks, Melissa and Aaron spent weekends together, going on picnics to picturesque valleys, strolling hand in hand in secluded corners of the city park, and indulging in romantic films at the movies. The lines between reality and fantasy blurred as they shared stolen kisses in the back rows of the theater. Little did I know that my absence had paved the way for a connection that was rapidly growing, overshadowing the bond Melissa and I had shared for over two decades. Melissa was thrilled by the idea of a passion affair with a young lover, while her husband was away on long hauls, but she especially enjoyed the wild night spent with the tireless twenty-year-old boy in her big marital bed. It was as if she was reliving her youth and carefree dating years again. As I approached the house returning a couple of days earlier than planned, I was filled with a mix of anticipation and excitement. Despite the argument before my departure and the two weeks of silence, I wanted to surprise Melissa with a romantic evening. The bouquet of red roses and the bottle of champagne were meant to signify a fresh start after the time apart. Observing the dimmed lights in the living room, 
As I neared the front door pleased me, it hinted that Melissa was already home. With a smile, I opened the door, hoping for a warm and joyful reunion. The instrumental music playing in the background set the mood for what I expected to be a pleasant surprise. Quietly leaving gifts in the kitchen, I made my way upstairs to the bedroom. The bedroom door was slightly ajar, and as I pushed it open, the excitement I felt turned into shock. Melissa, my beloved wife, was on her knees in front of a young man, his grip on her hair, and her hands were cuffed behind her back. Stunned, I recoiled in fright, and Melissa turned around in confusion. My hands clenched into fists, blind rage consuming me. Without thinking, I rushed at her lover, violently beating him. The handcuffs on Melissa's wrist rendered her helpless, her screams and cries echoing in the room. Breathing heavily, I finally broke away from the bloodied young man. My hands still clenched. I turned to Melissa, my gaze filled with contempt and a desire to tear her apart. Against the wall, she begged for understanding, attempting to explain, but my rage deafened me. Crossing the distance in one stride, I punched the wall next to her face with all my might. Fear gripped her, and mentally she prepared for the worst. I couldn't afford to lose my composure, realizing the grave consequences that could follow. Get the hell out of here now, I growled, pushing the naked lovers out the door. Their protests fell on deaf ears. I was too angry to even consider what might happen to them in that shocking state outside. The following day, fueled by a mix of rage and despair, I headed to the marriage registration office with a divorce petition. In the evening, drowning my sorrows at a bar, I drank until I lost consciousness. Waking up the next morning with a terrible hangover, the reality hit me. My life was completely ruined, and at 45, I had to start all over again. The process of dissolving the marriage and dividing up property brought several painful encounters with Melissa. She begged for forgiveness, cried, and pleaded for us to keep the family together for the sake of our shared past and our daughter. Despite her pleas, I remained adamant. Later, I learned that my ex-wife had indeed moved in with that young lover, despite protests from his mother and general condemnation from friends and acquaintances. Although I told my daughter that I wished them happiness, deep down, I still harbored disdain for both of them. I knew their union wouldn't last. The age and life experience difference were too significant. Eventually, the young guy would move on to someone younger, leaving my ex-wife all alone. Deciding not to dwell on the past, I moved on with my life. I relocated to another city, found an interesting new job, and met an understanding woman my own age. While the scars on my soul remained, life went on. That's the story, and I share these thoughts on the situation and the behavior of the spouses.